I'm Allison Schultz. And I'm Kimball Garrett. And, and we're, we're ornithologists. ornithologists. It means we study birds. So let's explore some of the science behind our avian Angelinos. We like to say that Los Angeles is the birdiest county in the United States. But what does that actually mean? It means that LA has more varieties or species of bird that have been recorded than any other county in the US. There have been 518 native species recorded as well as 10 introduced and recognized species, with many more in small numbers. The species name of a bird is part of how humans describe birds, but there are higher groupings as well. Species are grouped into genera, then families, and orders, with a few higher levels. These groupings not only represent species that experienced similar evolutionary histories, but will often include species of birds that share certain life history traits. An example of a species is the house finch, and this is in the genus Haymorhus, with the purple finch and the Cassin's finch. They are then all part of the finch family called Fringillidae, which includes more than 200 species. And this family is part of the order of birds called Passeriformes, or songbirds, which has over 5,000 species. This is the family tree, or phylogeny, of bird families, where the branching lines represent evolutionary history. Sometimes families with similar characteristics group together. For example, many birds that live in or near water are related to each other. However, similar traits doesn't always mean that species are closely related. Recent phylogenies based on DNA have revealed surprising relationships. For example, even though hawks and falcons look alike, and have many adaptations related to eating meat, they are not each other's closest relatives. In fact, falcons are related to songbirds and parrots, so those meat-eating traits must have evolved multiple times independently. Some families of birds are found worldwide, and others are found only in a particular location. For example, hawks have representatives almost everywhere on the globe, but turacos, one of my favorite families, are only found in sub-Saharan Africa. We have some families of birds with many species here in Los Angeles and others with only a single representative. Families of birds with a diversity of species here in LA include ducks with 40 species, gulls and terns with 30 species, sandpipers with 39 species, and New World sparrows with 30 recorded species. Other families of birds are only here in LA because they have been introduced from another part of the world, most often through the pet trade. Finally, one special example is a fairly nondescript brown bird called the wren tit. This species, which can be found in chaparral habitats, is a member of a diverse group of over 450 species in five families that are primarily distributed in Southeast Asia and Africa, but is the only one that has made its way on its own to Western North America, probably around 10 million years ago. The next time you see a wren tit or hear its ping pong ball-like song, you'll have a new appreciation for just how special it is. Now that you know a little about the huge variety of birds we have here and how we name them, you should get out there and look for them.